Hi all, let's talk about how to repeat control flow of a package in SSIS. So the answer is, so we can repeat the control flow of a package in SSIS with the help of the for each loop container. So for each loop container is a container, so which helps us to repeat the same number of tasks in multiple times, to repeat the same number of tasks in multiple times. So what is the advantage of uh, repeating the same uh, number of tasks or same control flow number of times? So let us assume it. So I have a folder. So which are of having around like some four to five files. Four files which are of same schema. So that time I need to load all the files into a, a single table. So rather than designing four packages individually. So let's design a single package and uh, use a for each loop container and link that for each loop container with a folder. So that time within a single for each loop container, I can load these four files in one shot. Not only four files, you can load 100 number of files in one shot. And as a, a beginner or as a during the uh, design, you don't need to specify the file names in the for each loop container. So you just need to specify the folder name of the uh, uh, folder name only. So it automatically connects to the folder and it automatically reads the data. What are all the files which are under that particular folder? So uh, one fine day, if you don't have any file, the for each loop container does not fail. So it, uh, it just uh, check with the folder. If there is no file, it skips the execution. If there is a one file, it execute. If it is 100 files, also it executes. It, it does not uh, require to specify the file name only. Now let me show you how to configure the for each loop container in the SSDT. So let's drag and drop the for each loop container. So the for each loop container, the symbol of the for each loop container looks like this. If you see here, it is repeating the same flow number of times. And you don't need to say how many number of times has to repeat during the design itself. It automatically identifies based on the folder or based on the runtime. Now how to configure? Let's take a scenario. I have four files in a particular folder. How to link that folder to this particular for each loop container? Let's double click on it. So this is a general. So you don't need to worry about just give a meaningful name and go to collection. So this is a place where you need to provide the folder path. So by default, which comes with a C drive. So if you already know the folder path, let's type or otherwise you can browse it. And the, if that folder is contains all, all, all the files of similar type, then you don't need to worry of these files. Okay, if you want to process only TXT files, so that folder is containing CSV files, Excel files, some XML files and TXT files. If you want to process only TXT files, just change like star.txt. I am not going to touch about the name of the file here. So I am not specifying the file name here. I am specifying only extension. Okay. Now, if you want to map the variables with the for each loop container, just go to variables tab in the left side and map it. So once you are done with the configuration, so let's click on OK and run this container individually. So there is a flexibility. So if the package contains multiple tasks and containers, so if you want to run only this container for testing purpose, let's select the container, right click on it and click on execute container. So and Apart from these advantages, so I can disable this container individually or I can create a variable with the scope of a container or I can uh, set up the uh, uh, collapse and expand properties as well. So this is about for each loop container. So this is how we are going to repeat the similar kind of control flow n number of times. Thank you.